So in this video, I'm going to explain the setup and the use of the unsupported utility, the pre-schedule calculator. So what we're looking at here in this simple model is an example where we have our grid, which is a new face position, and our existing solids. Now obviously in this example, it's quite neat, but it serves the purposes of demonstration. So we have this grid and we have these solids. In order to use the pre-schedule calculator, which will scan these solids and then pre-schedule out the ones that are underneath, uh, sorry, on top of the grid, we need to set up a few things first. So the first thing I'm assuming is that your processes have an initial percentage completed field set up already. So we have each process here has its own initial state or pre-schedule field. As part of the setup, you're going to want to add something along the lines of a pre-schedule calculator folder and for each solid that you have, in this example I only have one, uh, but you're going to want a different percentage field for each of your solids. So if you have more than one solid field as part of your reserves, you're going to want more than one pre-schedule calculator field. We're going to add that, close, going to save. The next setting, if you don't see this unsupported utilities drop down, because what we're looking for is the pre-schedule calculator, you're going to need to switch that on by going to your settings, general settings, and tick on unsupported utilities, save, and return to this screen. The final part of the setup process to use this tool is under the initial state tab, you're going to want to do a couple of things. You're going to want to comment out the default star here because we're going to insert the pre-schedule calculator's results in before this line using this initial state initial value field. So for each of the solids that matches the process, we're going to add in the pre-schedule calculator field so the scanner will use the grid and pre-populate this with a starting point and then we can use this to tidy it up. Okay, so once these are set, so you've created a new field for the pre-schedule calculator, you've turned on the tool, this is where we start to use it. So if we go back to our animation for a moment, the pre-schedule calculator will look at the grid, any solid that it goes through, will be removed from the schedule. So we're going to go to pre-schedule calculator, table, in this case it's deposit, scan range, so if you want to control what it applies to, and there'll be several examples where you may only want it to apply to certain areas. The pre-schedule mode, almost always for source scheduling it's above surface, and for dig, uh, dump scheduling it's going to be below surface how the scandal misses the topo. So if it misses the grid or the topography, in this case, it's going to assume that it's above. When something assumes that it's above, it's going to be pre-scheduled out. If you want to only make sure that you're pre-scheduling out things that can be seen by a grid, then you're going to want to set this point to below. The rest of it has to do with resolution. Uh, don't worry about that too much at the moment. The other parts being the clamp. So essentially if it sees 95% or more of the block is complete, it'll be treated as 100% complete, less than 5% and it'll be treated as not completed at all. The next setting is to pick what we're going to apply the pre-schedule calculator to. So all of the relevant solids and then all of the relevant triangles and surfaces. I only have one that applies here. You're gonna need to pick whichever yours is. The final thing we need to do is for each solid that we've mapped, we need to say what pre-schedule calculator field we're going to map it to. Once this has been done once, the settings will be saved. If we click accept now, Spry will start scanning the solids. And at the end of this process, just let this run through. I could pause the video, but uh, this one's pretty quick. So we've gone through the 112,000 or so solids there. Now what I need to do, just so you can see it run side by side, I'm going to go back to the initial state, 
and I'm going to tick apply now. So it's a two-step process. What's happening is the scanner has scanned into the deposit now a percentage of the block that's been completed and the second part is that the initial state initial value jumps in to the pre-schedule area. If I then need to tidy this up like for example I know that these couple of blocks here have also been taken I can add to the pre-schedule calculator and tidy it up. In this example I might need to, to play around with that, that clamp value as you can see I've taken a couple of little extra blocks here uh, it depends on the way that your model is set up. You may need to play around with the settings a little bit there. The only re the reason why you remove this is that this particular part of the thing of, of the initial state tool will wipe these values. Not wipe them entirely, just wipe them in your particular schedule that you're in. So if I click apply, you'll see it's set back to default, but it is not being overwritten because I can remove that line, click apply now and have it go back to the scanner state. Uh, so if there's any questions about how to use that utility or if it's giving you any hassles let us know and uh, thanks for your attention.